All right, kids, I'm going to show you how to do a book report using chat GPT. All right, first of all, we got to get into the uh, account, which I've already opened one. So you guys are going to have to open up your own account. I just tap in chat.openai.com. Bam, right there. And we're just going to go right there. Click on it. It opens it right up. And so, so you guys know over here, you can reset the thread. You can go to dark mode. If you're into gaming, there's Discord there, and there's updates, and there's a logout. So let's just go back to, uh, I mean, a light mode, because I don't really like dark mode. Uh, I like it lighter. All right, so we're going to go down here into this search bar. We're just going to click in there. And um, first of all, you got to figure out, you know, what your teacher wants. What's he want? Let's say you're reading the book, A Tale of Two Cities. So what we're going to write in here is, uh, and he wants, let's say, a 400-word uh, report on it. Write a book report on a tale of two cities. Let's make it 300 words so it's not so it's not too long. All right, then you once you've got it in here, you're going to go to this little arrow right here with your cursor. See how I'm moving my little cursor? And I'm just going to click on it. Cha-ching. And it takes a couple seconds, but pretty soon you're going to see it start writing right here. And it all depends on how many people are using it now. I think they had over a million people sign up in the first week. So I would think it's probably a couple million now. Oh, here we go. A Tale of Two Cities is a novel by Charles Dixon set in the time of the French Revolution. The novel is set in Paris and London. It follows the lives of several characters as they are caught up in the events of the revolution. The novel opens with a famous line, It was the best of times, it was the worst of times, setting the stage for tumultuous events that are to come. The story centers around Charles Durney, a French aristocrat, and Sidney Carton, a drunk lawyer who bears a striking resemblance to Darney. As the novel unfolds, we see the increasingly violent and chaotic events of the revolution through the eyes of the characters. We witness the fall of the Bastille, the reign of terror, and the rise of Maximilien Raspierre as a radical supporters and his radical supporters. As the revolution reaches its peak, Darnay is put on trial for his aristocratic background and is sentenced to death. Carton, who has grown to love Darnay's wife, Lucy, sacrifices himself to save Darnay by taking his place at the guillotine. They chop his head off at the end. Um, throughout the novel, Dickens weaves the themes of love, sacrifice, and human capacity for good and evil into the story of the revolution. He paints a vivid picture of the tumultuous times, he used that word twice, uh, and the people who lived through them. In the end, The Tale of Two Cities is a powerful, poignant tale of love, sacrifice, and the triumph of the human spirit in the face of adversity. It is a must-read for anyone interested in the French Revolution or in Dickens' brilliant writing. A Tale of Two Cities is the most read book in history, by the way. All right, so there you go. Now you know how to do it. If you liked it, you can click here and you can write something in there. Awesome review. Thanks. And then you can, whoops, I, did, I screwed up thanks. Then you can hit submit feedback. Cha-ching. And then if you don't like it, if you want to, you know, if you want something a little bit better, you can go to try again. And it'll do it again. It'll write another one, a little bit different. Of course, it takes, you know, it's taking a while because it's got to read the book again. <laughs> that was a pretty good review. I mean, a book report on a tale of two cities. That's basically the story. The last line is, it's a far, far better thing that I do now than I've ever done before. It's because you knew the first line from the other part. And there he goes. They're doing it again. It's a little bit slower now, as you notice. But it's trying to, you know, it's reworking it. Tale of Two Cities is a novel written by Charles Dickens. It was published in 1859, set in London and Paris during the time of the French Revolution. That will tell the story of Charles Darney and Sidney Carton, two men who are identical in appearance but vastly different in personalities. The novel begins in 1775 as Charles Darney, a French aristocrat, is on trial for treason in England. 
Despite being found guilty, Darnay is actually acquitted thanks to the efforts of his lawyer, Sidney Carton. Darnay, who has been living in Paris with his wife Lucy, Manette, and their young daughter, decides to move back to England with his family to avoid further persecution. Meanwhile, in Paris, the situation is deteriorating rapidly. The peasants are suffering under the oppressive rule of the aristocracy, and a revolution is brewing. As tensions rise, Darnay and his family become caught in the middle of the conflict. Despite their best efforts to stay out of it, they are eventually forced to flee to England to avoid being caught up in the violence. As the revolution reaches its climax, Sidney Carton, who has been struggling with alcoholism and depression, it's working on it, it stopped right there. It's trying to, it's thinking what to write next. I mean, did he want to commit suicide and get his head chopped off? Was it because he was a drunk and he was a depressed person? Who knows? But for some reason, we are not moving forward on this, which is kind of, well, if you notice here, it says you've got two of them right at the top here. See that? So if you didn't like this one, you could just go like this, and it'll go back to the original. Or you could go back to this one, which is not finished. It didn't, he didn't finish writing it yet. All right, so it looks like we're going to do this one. So then what you have to do is take your cursor, smush on it, and then just highlight it like that, right? Then you're going to go Command-C, and then you got to get to some kind of editing program. I have a text edit program, right? Because, you know, you got to give it to your teacher, right? <laughs> and then you just go Command V. And then you go like that, and you go Book Report. And you save it to your desktop so that you can email it to your teacher later. Bam! Bob's your uncle. All right, if you like this video about uh, chat, GPT, um, Check out my other ones. I got a bunch of them. Peace out.